often tell me that my photographs make them laugh and brighten up their day. I think this is because there's a nostalgia and a naivety to Dolly Treasures, a time of a bygone age. The little mischief transports people away to a carefree time and gives them a feeling of well-being. To me, they're so much more than just dolls. They're little beings with their own personalities in which I can express myself. I involve them in everything I do and take them with me wherever I go. I suppose really, it's a bit like keeping my own personal diary and that's why they're so very important to me. Because all the stories are inspired from everyday life, they have a very human feel to them and people can connect and identify with them. I want the audience to feel a part of Dolly Treasures, to empathise with the girls and have an emotional connection. That's why it's very important for me that there's a mood in the pictures. This gives it a sincerity and makes it real. All my pictures begin with a story. I gather my inspiration from everyday life, childhood memories, things my children used to do, things I see in the street, films, pictures, anything at all really can inspire me. I then think how to interpret this through the eyes of the girls. This I can really indulge in and gives me great fun for my stories. As well as the personal connection to the pictures, there's also the very visual side. The location, the props, the sets, all the pets, and of course, the girls' expressions. Once my set's ready, I then get the girls into position. This does take a bit of time. I use very fine knitting needles to prop the girls up. And the most important thing to make the girls look real is their expression. The position of their eyes, their hands or their feet can make such a difference to them looking real or just like dolls. So this is really where I have to take my time and give the most attention. When I'm on location, it's all very different and I have to work very quickly. People often ask me if I get embarrassed by being out in public. But to tell the truth, I'm so focused that I really don't notice anything around me. The main location for my photographs is my home in Suffolk. It's a reflection of my identity and is portrayed through the photographs. It is the identity of the little mischiefs and where they can get up to all sorts without being interrupted. Suffolk is a beautiful part of England and has some really wonderful landscapes and quintessentially English villages. I'm very lucky to have this right on my doorstep. I travel a lot and as I said, I always take my girls with me wherever I go. One of my very favorite places is Hong Kong where my daughter and I visit my father. I have a real emotional connection with Hong Kong and I think you can see this in my pictures. It was my daughter Bernadette, who I've actually nicknamed Dolly, who encouraged me to join Instagram three years ago when she went off to university so that it wouldn't be so difficult for us to be separated. I love the spontaneity of the iPad and the ability to upload my pictures instantly. I soon gained over 50,000 followers on Instagram and it was the enthusiasm of my followers that inspired me to bring out my book, The Little Mischiefs. It's really touching to have had such a wonderful response. The book has sold all over the world, from Tokyo to Brazil, China to America, even as far as Mexico. In June 2016, we'll be flying all the way to Tokyo, to BlytheCon, Japan, where we will launch our second book. 2016 is going to be a very exciting year for Dolly Treasures. Thank you.